based on the electricity that traveling through this arena and decibel level of the crowd, I think it's safe to say the roof of this building just might blow off. The blunt force to the head right there might leave him down for good. The whole one happened. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one environment. That's a good sign. With the punishment that's been dished out in this one, you have to ask, how bad is this injury? Can Sheamus continue? You know, Cole, I think if this was anyone else, they'd be out cold right now. And the match would have been called by now. Back into the ring now. Yeah, this is good. This is where the action needs to be. Eight. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. One. Look at this. There is absolutely no wasted motion in this attack. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. What's he gonna do here? What's he gonna do here? Five! Clearly on a mission here. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Seven. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the ring. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Yeah, I, I, I think this is good strategy. I'm not sure I can watch this. Two. Boy, he just got laid out. Three. The blunt force to the head right there might leave him down for good. Well, the trick sometimes oh. when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. One of the top rivalries in the Celtic Warriors career came in his beginnings with WWE. His battles against the game Triple H. Sheamus went after the biggest shark in the water and his encounters with Triple H were so physical, no one knew when, where, or how the rivalry would end. Oh wow Cole, what a pick. I feel the rivalry between Sheamus and Triple H was so brutal, it helped define Sheamus early in his WWE career. I mean, these were the kind of fights where the men involved knew they would come out in worse condition than when they walked in. Four. Look at this. He's just barely moving. Five. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. Six. Oh, wow. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got Seven. exposed steel, concrete, the barricades. And all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Eight. Playing my games. Yeah, a little intimidation there. Really pushing his opponent Two. to the limit here. Now that's a takedown. That was impressive, King. Yeah, I'm impressed. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet Two. lightning fast. One mistake. One moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Four. Whoa. Usually when someone decides to use a weapon, you can almost guarantee it's not a one-time occurrence. Six. You got to be ready for anything. Seven. Choke slam. Choke slam. Oh, my gosh. Eight. Back between the ropes. Nine. Jerry and talking about with all that build up, it's sad to see it end like that. This one is waved off. Oh, that was a match for the record books. The WWE Universe will be buzzing about this one for a while.
The ref had no choice here but to end this one via count out. Great effort from both these guys, Cole. I'm willing to bet this is the last time we see them square off. Join us next week. Wait a minute, what is this about? Uh oh, business is, is about to pick up. Making his way to the ring from the south side, Daddy! We now have a war on our hands. That's, I knew this was coming, Cole, but you know what? I love it. Oh man, there it is. It's on. Come on, we need to get order here. <laughs> Good luck on doing that. quick we're watching someone toying with their opponent i don't know if the these superstars will do whatever it takes to win here tonight you gotta believe this one's over there's a point where all someone has to stop this before that sledgehammer breaks them in half <laughs> that's how you do it make a name for yourself kid and he goes right after it Oh, man, I did not think he would go this far. Oh, come on. Is that really necessary? This is wonderful. Sometimes you have to take what's yours. He's doing that right now. The blood force to the head right there might leave him down for good. Well, we're on the move here. Please welcome. Let's talk about. He attacked. The only way he's going to get on TV is by showing up during my matches. I get that. He's starved for TV time. He's you two have been clashing a lot lately. Is this turning into a rivalry for you?
Who are we talking about here? You're interviewing me, and you're asking about that guy? That's downright disrespect. There you have it. Back to you guys. And there's the bell. Oh, man. Am I ready for this? The human body can only absorb so much of that. Sheamus sneaks out of that one. And I'm sure that was just pure instinct on Sheamus's part. Well, luckily, the body hasn't absorbed too much of an attack up to this point. The great white Sheamus is as rough and tough as they come. He brings an inner grit from the streets of his home, Dublin, Ireland, that has translated to amazing success here in WWE. Sheamus has never backed down from a fight in his life, and he's not going to start now. Well, you don't get a moniker like the Celtic Warrior by taking fights that are easy victories. Michael, the intensity that Sheamus brings to every match is something you can feel from the moment he enters the arena. And trust me, it's something his opponents feel when that bell rings. From our vantage point, it doesn't even look like a sweat has been broken. Whoa. King, we've talked about the fire inside Sheamus along with the power and intensity he brings to the ring with him every night. He likes to do things within the guidelines of the WWE rulebook, but if an opponent decides to go in a different direction, he can certainly fight fire with fire. Well, that messed him all right. Whoa. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. Five. Now back to the ring. Sometimes all it takes is a basic strike. Oh, he missed. Oh, -ho. nobody home that time. And he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I could feel the breeze all the way over here. He's in full-on attack mode now. These are great competitors, great, tremendous gladiators here in the choke slam. Ain't gonna be long now. <laughs> right, his minutes are numbered. Oh, Sheamus has been hammered on 
ground here, and it's showing. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, King. But I still don't see him giving up. slam look how slow he is to recover here that was some serious punishment man what a move unbelievable power I love a classic body slam Absolutely brutal pile driver. That looked like one of my old pile drivers, Cole. Now, who does a methodical pace benefit, King? Well, I'll tell you, whenever the dominating competitor takes his time, it gives everybody a chance to catch their breath. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously wrong there. Remember, momentum in WWE can turn on a dime. And leave you some change. Whoa. Oh, I'm not sure I can watch this. We're looking at complete Three. domination here. Four. Now that is just dangerous. No kidding. Five. Inside the ring again. Yeah, and they should be. This is where the action needs to be. I gotta tell you, these guys are in the best shape I've ever seen them in. Four. Inside the ring now. Finally, let's get this done inside the ring. A perfectly executed leg drop. Four. How much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This is unreal. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there, but only one can walk out victorious. Who? Well, that steel chair. That was a blatant disregard for the rules, guys.
And there's the bell. Oh, there's no telling. Wow, wait a minute. What's he coming out for? And here's the lockup. Look at these two jockeying for position. Uh, trust me, Michael, there's nothing routine about this. The sooner you can get an advantage over your opponent, the better. And so what are your thoughts right now on Rusev? Rusev's a man of domineering power, surreal athleticism. And along with his social ambassador, Lana, reviles in human suffering and complete destruction. The more Rusev's detested by WWE fans, the more agony the brute happily doles out. Yeah, and one of the things that's most horrifying about Rusev is that while he's completely demolishing his opponent, he shows absolutely no emotion. None. Nothing. That's when you know you're dealing with the worst type of evil. Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one -on -one environment. We're going to find out a lot here tonight. Head to head, no excuses. Let's get it on. It's gonna take a lot to change the tide of this one. Rusev's ability to decimate makes him appear like more machine than man. This nightmare, the brute makes Every movement, one of pain for opponents. Watching Rusev compete is like watching a sanctioned mauling of another human being. Rusev's that dominant. Cole, what's he got in mind? I've seen every episode of SmackDown over the years, and I assure you this one ranks right up there with the best. Doing a great job of avoiding any serious offense. That'll go a long way as this one progresses. Yeah, the strength of Rusev and his devotion to Vladimir Putin's ideologies has practically created international incidents at WWE events. Rusev is so commanding that if you blink, the bell could ring, Rusev could strike, and just like that, the match is over. Rusev's WWE's super athlete. What a match this is going to be. I've been looking forward to this one for a long time, Cole. That stop might have only lasted a second, but it's going to be felt tomorrow. That may be felt for a lifetime. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. Oh, out of nowhere. Not giving Rusev a chance to recover. That's smart. Oh, it looks like he's in no man's land here. He needs to be able to put things back together here. Michael, this is a dangerous position to be in. Watch out! Looking motivated now. What is this? Why does he have to get involved in what was otherwise a really good matchup? When this guy's on, look out. Watch it! What a move from Sami Zayn. That's how you impress the WWE Universe, folks. And once again, we see a return to the specific maneuver. Hey, whatever works. Yeah, if it keeps working, keep working. And the offensive display by Sami Zayn. If you haven't done it yet, check out WWE.com. You'll find updates and blogs from all your favorite superstars. Yeah, and don't forget to check us out on Twitter. It's at Jerry Lawler and at Michael Cole. Right, Michael Cole? Yeah, that's original. As the circulation of blood and oxygen is cut off to the brain, the question is, how long can this go on? Yeah, how long can he stay conscious? The offensive attacks from Rusev are flattening enough. But what we're seeing here is a different level of power. The Russian Federation hero has really... Look at a catch him off guard. And a kick out. Uh, the kick out's all that's saving. This match goes on. Wow! What a drop kick!
You don't take long for the aggression to escalate quickly in this one. You're right, Cole. These two don't like each other, and we're going to find out how much they really do dislike each other in this match. This is the type of attack that just wears down an opponent. Yeah, and you can see it working right here. Ow! Ooh. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Oh, come on, the ref has no idea what's going on right now. Ha <laughs> I love it. He has a referee totally in his back pocket right now. What is this? A two-on-one handicap match? Come on, someone needs to escort him away from ringside. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. Man, I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. And that's why... End of story. This one's over. Rusev is known as the bull covers. These are great competitors, great, tremendous gladiators here in WWE. Some of the best superstars that WWE have to offer. Rusev is just so talented. This match has gone his way incredibly fast here. We're going to see a lot of effective moves like that in this match. Look out, look out. This could be it. And there's the accolade. Rusev is going to get it done right now. I think we may be moments away from seeing his breaking point. And he lets him out. Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hole now before his appears to cover. Rusev's domineering power and unbelievable athleticism is only matched by one other aspect. The Bulgarian Brute's rabid thirst to destroy. This man is trained in sumo and Muay Thai, as well as Greco-Roman wrestling, which means his ability to punish is endless. You're right. Power, speed, the desire for destruction. All of this, along with the ravishing Russian Lana, has resulted in some of the most terrifying moments we've ever seen in WWE. Quick thinking to avoid that. He's looking at it again. It's got to be over now. One, two. Both of these competitors have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. Taking this type of punishment must be damaging to his sternum. Damaging to his entire chest. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. Going to the well again. He's setting it up. Oh no, here we go. Sami Zayn sees. He's got it locked in. Will this be it? Just a dominating display. Yeah. I think we can see a lot of punishment inflicted here. He's going for the pin. This could be it. I think he's got him. Look at these two giving it their all. There's absolutely no quit in them tonight. Submission holds locked in, and he's in big trouble. Oh, man, look at his face. The pain has to be crippling. And there's the release. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. There's the pin. Can his opponent kick it out? He did it. What a huge win. Oh, what a spin. And here's just there was no. We got a couple of highlights. Here's your winner, Sammy Zayn. Huge victory here tonight. Few things are more rewarding than the feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. And it looks to me like our winner is already thinking about the next match. Always one step ahead.
Welcome back to Let's talk about We saw you I graced him with the presence of greatness. You could literally see how intimidated he was. There is a lot of tension brewing between you two. He makes me sick. He thinks... There you have it. Back to you, Cole. Wait a minute. What is this about? Don't look now, but we got company. Making his way to the ring from the south side, Daddy. I knew this was going to happen, but I love it. Come on. We need to get order here. <laughs> Good luck on doing that. Oh, we have a ball on our hands. Look out. Get out of the way. This is going to be tough. Here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you could find yourself in a world of hurt. Look out. He's got his sights set on that neck region. Well, we're on the move here. And he's decided to take on all comers. Not today, too fast. Oh, watch out. Two major. Oh! You have to think that's it. This is exactly how he drew this one up. What a shot. You can hear that from a mile away. You'll see what someone's really made up after an assault like that. And I think it's obvious that he'll stop at nothing to win here tonight. What an attack. Take yet another one for the highlight reel. Please welcome my guest tonight. He ambushed you. That was cute. Does he really think he can? There is a lot of tension brewing between. 
He makes me sick. There you have it. Back to you, Cole. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, what is this? Why is he out here right now? Offense like this is exactly how a competitor takes control of a match. It's the way I always used to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching SmackDown, the second longest running weekly episodic television program in history. What's your analysis of Neville? That's someone who gets it. Someone who knows the value of... And he gets to the ropes. Neville putting it on him right now. He's really taking over this match now. Now that's a counter. He's got him hooked. There's the suplex. That was nice. Makes the cut. And it's up. He got the shoulder up. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. These competitors will always be looking to unleash their finishing maneuver, and when that happens, the complexion of the match can change in a heartbeat. You're right about that. The entire match can end in a heartbeat if somebody hits their big move. And a lethal chop rains down. You're right, that chop was brutal. Seems like these guys are letting out a lot of pent-up frustration tonight. Did you hear how his leg connected? Boom! And now it's Fandango trying to 
build momentum. Plenty of fight left. You're right. This guy's still near 100%. Quick thinking to avoid that. Whoa, now that's a counter. These guys giving this sold out crowd exactly what they came to see. What an incredible match. It doesn't get more painful than that. We're in the feeling out process. Who's going to get the advantage and maintain control? Your guess is as good as mine, Cole. Oh, that sure nailed him. Ouch. This assault from Fandango. He's putting his footprints all over his opponent. Fandango's always creating new choreography for the ballroom. Warm up the buses. This one's over. Boy, he just got laid out. He goes to the quick pin attempt. Count, oh, Riff, count. And he escapes with a kick out. right now. Look past the ring at the thousands and thousands of WWE fans in attendance. Each and every one of them are having a great time tonight. Oh, you're right about that. You always have a great time when you attend the WWE event live. Just like we are here tonight. This is wonderful. Uh oh There it is, the diving leg drop. Oh, this one could be over. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. Wow, Fandango. Talk about bringing someone down. Oh, did you see the force behind that? There's some serious power right there. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Some people would use other words to describe what we just witnessed. Ow! Ooh. This guy's just getting worn out. And he dodges that one. Just toying with the competition a little. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Oh, wow. Well, we're on the move here. Four. Here we go. Back inside the ring. What do you mean we? We're still outside the ring, Cole. It's them. They're inside the ring. I assure you, that hurts. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there. But only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? Extra slow getting back to his base here. Oh, oh out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. You gotta be kidding me, I can't believe this. We may have just seen a career come to an end right here in front of us. No kidding, Cole, this looks bad. Boy, he just got laid out. So there by never. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. <laughs> You're right about that. You got to remember what works. Whoa! A direct hit. Talk about getting. Oh my, Neville. The shoulders are down. I can't believe this. 
this, but Fandango's as smooth on the dance floor as he is in the ring pummeling an opponent. Great, maybe now we can actually have a one-on-one -on -one match. For the first time tonight, Neville is looking to go skyborne. Look at this hang time. Incredible. Shoulders down, is it enough? This may be it. This match has been 100 miles per hour since the opening bell. Oh, and I don't see any slowing down in the future. This is a great matchup. I'm loving it. Action like this has become synonymous with SmackDown over the years. There it is, the flying wheel kick. Ouch, that one had to hurt. The tension, the drama, this is electric. Look at the back of my arm, Cole. Look at the goosebumps. I love this. Uh-oh. He's in position, ready to strike. The end may be near. Uh-oh, the knocks out. He's knocked out. Uh-oh. There's the... This should do it right there. I think this is it. Fandango's excited. He's going to win. Man, he's got to feel great. Oh, there were some... Let's see what happened. Let's take a look back at one of those WWE competitors. Here's your winner, Fandango. He gets a victory here tonight. Love him or hate him, that was an incredible match. An incredible match and a big, big victory. Frankly, Neville has too much talent to be losing like this. And that's it for this week of SmackDown. Good night, everybody. It's fun. Anyone that opposes Sheamus can be sure all the Celtic Warriors' weapons are ready to fire. The bro kick, Irish curse, and a high cross had defeated many a superstar by the looks of things. That's exactly how it's going to stay here in WWE.
The sky's the limit. I see a lot of main events in the future. When Sheamus makes his way to the ring, even if it's to conduct an interview, he's always ready for battle. The crowd jumps to their feet at the calling of his name because they know the Celtic warrior is waiting to dish out enormous amounts of punishment. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the house has been empty for months. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Cole, what's he going to do here? I don't know how much more of this that back can take. You talked about this before, Cole, but it's pretty impressive that when the audience knows Sheamus is making his way to the ring, they wait to see whose head is going to get knocked off. Do you think that means Sheamus has a reputation for handing out a beating or two? Uh -oh, or three? Well, I do. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. Man, what a maneuver. When you talk about someone's reputation preceding them, that certainly applies to the great white Sheamus. Standing at six foot four and weighing around that 270 pound mark, Sheamus can issue a hellacious assault like no other WWE superstar. And it's something the fans just can't wait to see. Well, Cole, it's something the fans wait to see, and it's something they expect. The audience and the WWE superstars know that even if Sheamus is on the receiving end of an opponent's offense, the Celtic Warrior can get right back on the attack at any moment. There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Wouldn't have it any other way. That's what I love to see. What force on that slam. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously wrong there. Hang on. with a choke slam. I think you're right. This one is in the books. Another electric crowd on hand here for SmackDown, as has been the norm over the years. Two. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. You missed it. Five. Back in the ring now. Yeah, let's just see how long they Six. can keep it in the ring. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. Look past the ring at the thousands and thousands of WWE fans in attendance. Each and every one of them are having a great time tonight. Oh, you're right about that. You always have a great time when you attend the WWE event live. Three. Just like we are here tonight. This is wonderful. Four. Five. Not today. Too fast. Inside the ring again. Yeah, and they should be. This is where the action needs to be. Camel clutch applied. 
and man, is he pulling back on that neck. I don't believe the destruction we're seeing. This guy's just going from one painful move to another. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. I certainly didn't expect to see this kind of damage. Now, who does a methodical pace benefit, King? Well, I'll tell you, whenever the dominating competitor takes his time, it gives everybody a chance to catch their breath. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Hey, he's going for it again. It's all academic from here. like this has become synonymous with SmackDown over the years. Two. Three. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching SmackDown, the second longest running weekly episodic television program in history. And the knuckles connect. And that shot was dialed in. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously wrong there. to potential injury there. Remember, momentum in WWE can turn on a dime and leave you some change. I'm sitting here utterly flabbergasted that the official didn't see that. I just can't believe it. <laughs> this guy couldn't see his hand in front of his face. Another great SmackDown. Thank you for choosing to join us tonight. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. He sees it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The Samoan Spike should end this here. I think you're right, Paul. This is over. And this has got to be it. I think so. Two, three. He did it. What a huge win. We got a couple of highlights here. Let's check them out. Here's your winner, Daddy. Wow. Now that's a commanding win. That was simply a case of... Please join me in welcome... I don't care what the WWE. Let's talk about what. Sometimes to get. There you have it. Back to you guys.